All right, guys, our next position that we're going to transition between is going to be the knee bar and the 50-50. Now, the most important thing to remember here when we're transitioning between these two positions is that when you do look to threaten the knee bar, your opponent is going to quickly attempt to triangle their legs or to crisscross their legs in an effort to protect the threatened foot or the threatened knee. What we need to do is make sure that we split our opponent's legs because our body is going to need to travel in between. So, for instance, if I'm passing, if I'm attempting to pass Tim's guard, I'm stepping over and into the knee bar position. Now, my weight is sitting on top of Tim. This is very, very important. My weight's not out of my foot. I'm not falling to the side. If I do fall one way or the other, I compromise my base and I commit myself to one course of action. Here, the 50-50 is my particular choice, is my movement of choice, but it's not the only movement. And it's important to note it's not, the, it's not necessarily the correct movement in every single case. So make sure that you do sit up on your opponent so that if you decide to go to the knee bar or if you decide to disengage, you do have the choice. If I commit everything all at once and give up my base, I'm losing my decision-making capability and I don't want that to happen. So again, what Tim's going to be looking to do is connect his feet. Not good for me. So I'm going to keep his feet far apart and I'm taking both of my hands and I'm going to dive through as if I were going to try to finish the knee bar underneath my armpit. I'm diving both hands through to the mat and now I'm rotating 180 degrees towards my left to get into the 50-50. I really feel that this is a great transition because the proper, angle, the proper answer and the proper defense to the knee bar is for Tim to come up and pressure me. If Tim attempts to come up and pressure me once I get the 50-50, he's going to run himself straight into the reverse heel hook. So again, I'm looking to pass. And the transition, again, all we're doing is we're started out seated on top of our opponent. Both of my hands come through. I can't get tied up. I'm ducking my entire body underneath. Keep your spine straight. Ducking through, rotating. If Tim tries to come racing up at me, he runs himself straight into the footlock. So the proper, so the proper answer here, again, for Tim, flies in the face of common wisdom. So what we're going to do is one time at regular speed, and we're right into the footlock. It happens very quickly. It's a great transition.